Morning lovelies, it's Tim Wilde's Friday Ascension update, but today we're coming from the, 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 the warmth and the comfort of my, my usual room because outside it is absolutely freezing. I did record a 10 minute video this morning, but there's lots of runny nose activity, so I thought I'd come on inside. And I know the picture quality isn't quite so great from my Mac, but here we go. So, how are you all? I hope you are all kind of bearing up under the new energies coming in. We had the most incredible new moon and alignment of various planets and asteroids in, in the, the, sun, the, the sign of Aquarius yesterday. So a lot of us were really, really feeling that. And of course, I know it's almost become like a little bit of a, a bit of a cliche over the years about, oh, we've got this amazing alignment, oh, we've, the, the planets are doing this or the energy is doing that. But you can't really, you can't really make a, a, a setup like that up. It's like we've had the, the new moon in Aquarius, which signifies new beginnings, freedom, rebellion, all of that lovely kind of forward moving energy that we're, we're, we're feeling the push towards at the moment plus all of the other planets um, very much linked, very much linked into that energy. But yesterday, it's, um, with these incredible kind of incomings, there are outgoings, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. So when, when the universe, when the cosmos turns up the dial and the energy ramps up, a lot of us respond physically now. I was saying this in, the, in a workshop the other night. Um, this is no longer an energy process that we can kind of speculate on or we kind of we, we talk about in workshops on a weekend or a Sunday. It's a real tangible process that we are all physically moving through. If you think about how many people were actually kind of awake 10 or 20 years ago compared to the amount of people that are actually aware of the transitional process that's going on on this planet at the moment, it's... It, it's colossal. It's, it's Mars and Venus. We've moved far, so far forward in a very, very short space of time. But I was talking last night in the works, the, the, the final of the Ascension Essentials with Carolyn, and we were just kind of chit-chatting about various things in, 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 the, in the chat window as it was coming down. And uh, we were talking about cold. I mean, I'm not, by nature, I'm not particularly aligned with very cold weather i like it if it's snowing and frosty and everything and and what have you but i'm you know by by february i think a lot of us especially in the uk we're not geared up for it and we're like oh i want it to be i want it to be spring i want it to be warmer and i was just talking we talk, there's a late there's a lady in the chat talking about a a a specific kind of group of people in canada who deliberately sur submerged themselves in icy water that's right i remember it as we Wim Hof, Wim Hof's name was mentioned in the workshop. Somebody mentioned it. I think it, it might it might have been me or something. I've got a morbid fascination with the guy. Okay, I've got uh, the, to me the thought or the concept of submerging yourself in icy water. I, I find it horrifying. Okay, it's my wor it's my worst possible nightmare. If the shower goes from boiling hot to lukewarm, I kind of jump around like I've been electrocuted. So. I'm I'm absolutely fascinated and, and enthralled with this amazing man who who's managed to control his his body and his breathing and his mind so that he does this these amazing things where he kind of he submerges in icy water. You may you like if you haven't heard of him, check him out. Wim Hof, the Wim Hof method. It's a, it's a breathing method. It's supposed to be absolutely amazing for your immune system, your mental health. It recalibrates you. And boy, if you can if you can do that, you can do just about anything. So, the, the the thing is with me, if I get if I get kind of one of these like long kind of running fascinations combined with trepidation, it's usually because I'm going to wind up trying it myself. So at some point, um, I might have to put myself through that simply because that's the way I'm wired. But the what interests me about it at the moment is is the fortitude and the dedication and the transformation that he must have gone through whilst training his body and training his mind and training his breathing to cope with something which to me is utterly unnatural. I mean, he, he dips himself in water that would probably freeze a seal and, and, 
and he loves it. And there was another part, there was another comment that said the guy had actually just walked up Mount Everest with a pair of shorts on. Don't know whether that's true or not. I'll have to check it out. But that's a different league altogether. That's that. <laughs> I can't even I can't even conceive doing something like that. But in order to have that level of fortitude, you have to go through a transformation. There are many of us at the moment on the ascension pathway that are being pushed very, very hard. Now, most of us have chosen a conscious level of transformation. We've actually decided like, hey, we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to step on the ascension pathway. We are going to expand our mind, our bodies, our souls. We're going to embrace spirituality. We're going to climb the ascension ladder. But there's a lot of us also that are being pushed through this at the moment on a soul on a soul agreement but not on a on a not as a conscious choice the gateway has been opened and everybody is getting shoved through it who is choosing to ascend from 3d to 5d which is causing a huge amount of mental pressure or flexing flexing in the field and what i'm seeing a an accumulation of at the moment particularly with very high energies the circumstances that we're being um, not subjected to, but that we are experiencing in, in the kind of the mixture of realities is there's a lot of mental fatigue. There's a lot of kind of, um, if you think about what happens when wind blows and it hits trees, the trees will, will, will bend and they will either break or they will stand back upright. But there's a lot of people at the moment that are feeling like they've reached the maximum level of their tilt. And my message this morning is to if you are feeling like that if you are listening to this message this morning and you are starting to feel like it is all getting a little bit too much the pressure's building or you might be isolated or you're dealing with with so many people family friends work colleagues anybody who is being directly affected by the transition and the circumstances on, on this shift then either take a little bit of time out for yourself step away from the messages step away from the energy step away from the turbulence or seek somebody who's on your wavelength or on or, or speaking your language to get this off your chest a little bit because i'm seeing a lot of people at the moment who are who are kind of reaching stress maximum and it's going to happen uh, at the moment and, and a lot of this is 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 also being created by the, the the isolation phase that we're going through this is obviously from an outside perspective it's being enforced upon us but also it is a spiritual process it's a rebirthing process it's not a comfortable phase of the shift <clears throat> when a lot of us are faced with that um that period where we are on our own as we you know we've got ourselves we've got our shadows we've got everything that we would normally be covering up with with the with the reaching out the the, the things that we used to have within our our society or our matrix which we would douse the 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 kind of the the, the alerts with when we go along they have all but been removed or in the process of being removed so that we go through this process so there's a lot of icky stuff coming to the surface and this is being forced by the energies. I mean, it's the, the alignments that we had on a planetary level last year were designed to do one thing. They were designed to release fear. They were designed to open hearts. They were designed to strip away the, 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 fifth, the fifth veil of the third eye so we can see more clearly. Now all of that work has been done we are now left with a planet that is is waking up to the stark reality of of the movement to the shift and of course it is going to, it's going to require recalibration it's going to require stepping back from time to time taking a deep breath grounding realigning and then stepping back into the field again if if you're feeling like this reach out talk to somebody because there's a lot of people out there now that are specializing I think it was it was about five months ago, maybe even halfway through last year, where I, I was I was talking to several people in workshops or individually, saying there is going to be a need for people who are trained, especially in dealing with trauma, with with stress, with with that build up of energy. So. The, there are people out there in my direct field of experience. This isn't my field of expertise, but I do know people who are very, very good at it. There's a lady called Emma Kenny. Um, she was a TV 
a TV personality, a TV psychologist. She's been recently deplatformed, like like a lot of others are, for speaking out against the lockdown. She's the one who's saying, look, psychologically, this is really affecting people. You can't do that. It's wrong. So all of a sudden, she's lost her TV platform. But now she's doing um, regular regular kind of Facebook lives on, during the week to help people work through this. People who are consciously aware, people that are sort of like, you know, they're, they're railing against the energy that's going on out there, but haven't quite found that equilibrium. And also Zoe Clues from Clues Associates in London from the 25th of February will be setting up something very similar for people to come to, to speak, to air, to, to, to basically release the energy and, and rebalance again. That equilibrium is very, very important. Step in, step out of this field as often as you need to. Ground, balance, take care of yourselves, okay? Because this is an intensive shift. Okay? A lot of the time on the light path, it is very, very easy to be in that case, in that state of constantly, you, you have your duties. <laughs> you, know, you, you wake up in the morning, it's almost like you're signing on for work for the day and 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 the and the duties roll in it's it's another it's another day in earth, in 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 earth on earth and earth school transformation everything like that and it's intense it comes from all sides it comes from social media it comes from all around you it comes from the energies itself we've got not just got our own personal shift to deal with we've got the collective energy of the shift and if you plug into that occasionally it can be very very wearing it can be very tiring it's almost like all of this energy is being released and you're doing other people shifting for them or you're doing their clearing for them. I tend to stay as much out of that field as possible because we've got specially formulated um, we've got specially formulated systems and energies in place that deal with all of the releasing of the energy. It's the individual ones at the moment. So if people are reaching out to you, if you feel that you need to reach out, do so. OK, you know, the, the, the beauty of having such a infinite web of social media at our fingertips is the fact that we do have these connections. We do have the ability to search things up and 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 connect with one another. And speaking of connections, a one that had kind of it's almost like it gets a little bit overlooked. Over, over the course of our transformation because we've gone from what I'd call like a, the, the more simplified versions of spirituality to the much more advanced in, in, a, in, in especially in the last 10 years or so it was re reintroduced not so much reintroduced but just reminded of the fact that our guardian angels are probably one of the most readily available support systems that we can possibly have a guard for those of you that know about your guardian angel it would have probably like me it would have been your first connection you know, the, one of the if you if you're on the angel path if that's where your energy goes if that's what first lit your interests up then the first introduction that is made to you from the angelic kingdom is your guardian angel because they've been with you the whole time they've been with you since this, the origin of your soul's birth you, you get allocated your guardian guardian angel and they are with you for every step of the journey doesn't matter what dimension you're in doesn't matter what planet you're in doesn't matter what frequency you're vibrating at or where you're working that angel will be with you to accompany with you so that is a support system at the moment that is uh, a lot of us are under utilizing and it's it's Take a few minutes of your day in the morning to connect to your guardian angel and keep that vibration, that soul in your heart and by your side. We also have the fight with the dragons. OK, the dragons have been serving humanity for a huge amount of period of time. Fire dragons, earth dragons, air dragons, water dragons, light dragons, dragons of all of the all, all of the different cosmos and, and, and vibrations and frequencies that are available out there ask them for support, ask them to come in and assist you, call upon the unicorns, call upon the ascended masters. It's um, We get quite often so snowballed in our circumstances that we forget to stop to ask for help or shout for help or, or, or do, do whatever. But my guardian angel reminded me the other day to just say, look, you know, I am here wings and arms around you and everybody else that needs the care and the assistance at the moment all you need to do is ask quite a lot of the time we just simply 
we forget to ask okay and so the energies grow they 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 increase and intensify by the daily basis and we are adapting to this as we go along the physical response i was talking about the physical response a little bit at the moment a lot of us are being pushed into right you will sit down and you will heal because we we have to we have to go through periods of time for integrating so like like i was saying earlier on if you do need to take that time out just step out okay just step out heal regenerate take that time for yourself now on the 25th of this month i'm going to be running a healing session on zoom which is working with the Pleiadian High Council. Again, this is healing orientated. I'm feeling like we all need a little bit of regeneration at the moment, a little bit of TLC, a little bit of self-care. So if that is resonating with you and you want to hop on and join, the details are on my website under timwild.com. So this is this. It's not so much a a perspective of the, of the it's not so much of an ascension update it's more of a self-care and 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 self-love update at the moment you know it's uh this is where we're at at the moment and uh i hope you've had a beautiful week and i hope you have a lovely weekend as well and uh i will be back on monday with a walking meditation lots of love bye for now <laughs>